So inside a CAD works, you can place in welds uh, wherever you want to, um, but sometimes you don't want that weld gap in there. And so I'm going to show you how to make that change. This is another video that came from a question from the comment. So again, please uh, keep commenting and I'll try to get those videos on as soon as I possibly can. Uh, so this question here was, how do you make a zero gap weld inside of CADWorks? Well, again, this is one of those ones that you actually have to go into the spec and go into the catalog to make those uh you know, weld gaps to be zero instead of an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch, whatever your weld tolerance, uh, you know, your weld gap is. So again, please don't get into the spec or the catalog without permission from your CAD administrator or have the CAD administrator do it for you. Um, so, so basically what I'm talking about, let's look at this line right here. And we're going to go to a top view. Uh, let's go with north being up. That to me always helps. So we're going to zoom in here. Um, okay, so we're going to zoom in here and we're going to do a well gap. And we're going to pick right here in the middle. And you can see that it's created this little, um, you know, space right here. Now this is in two, uh, 3D solid, so um, in 3D wireframe uh, or 3D enhanced view, you would see basically a weld uh, symbol around there. Uh, but we're going to turn off onto uh, 2D wireframe. You can see that there is a gap between these two two icons right here, or these two pipes right here. There's no way that you can change this weld gap inside of uh, you know CADWorks. So what you have to do is you have to get into the catalog again. So uh, what you're going to do is come over here to spec editor. We're going to click right there and we're going to wait for this to boot up. Again, we're using spec 150. Uh, you can see that we have a eighth inch gasket uh, or well gap and a 16th inch well gap. Um, so we want to do a um, a zero gap. So what you do is you open up your catalog. So if you go to your base catalog down here at the bottom, and again, this might be a little bit different depending on how you have things uh, arranged because these are all dockable. Uh, but we're going to click right here and we're going to go to our data go down to this is a catalog right here we're going to go to gaskets bolts and welds go to welds and you can see that we have 16th inch and an eighth inch so we're going to copy one of these okay so we're going to do a copy you can see it created a copy of weld one and a half uh eighth inch so we're going to delete that and we're going to change this as zero okay now we're going to open up this, this um, data file here and you can see that the thickness is an eighth of an inch, 0 .1, uh, 0 0.125. So we're going to change that to zero um, and we're going to copy down. So just do a control C, select everything and then do, do a control V and okay. And we're going to hit save. Okay, we're going to close this one out. We're going to come back into the catalog or into the spec uh, PRJ file and we're going to hit yes. We want to update. It's basically asking if you want to update from what was changed and we're going to hit yes. Um, and we're going to close that out. Okay, and then we're going to open it right back up. Okay, come into our bolts, gaskets, and welds or gasket bolts and welds. And we're going to add a new fitting. So we're going to do add. Okay. We want 
uh, our categories is gaskets, bolts, and welds. We want the type of weld. And then we go look for our data type uh, table. And then there is our weld right there. Okay. There's some other information in here. You can change the BOM type, fabrication, erection, or miscellaneous. Uh, so basically shop, field weld, or field fit weld. Uh, we're going to keep this as a fabrication item. Uh, we're going to give it a long description. Okay, we're going to just say weld gap. Okay, and we're going to hit add. Okay, so we're going to add this to the spec. You can see that we have no short description. That's fine for this demonstration. So we're going to hit save. And we're going to close out of the spec. Okay. And then we're going to refresh our spec. So reload, sorry, reload our spec. And we're going to hit reload. Okay, and we're going to go to here, and here's our well gap. It has no length. This is the one we just put. And so if we put, put this, let's say in the middle of this pipe, you can see now that there is no gap. There's no space between this well, these two pieces of pipe. So that's how you create a zero thickness uh, on your well gap. Uh, you got to go into the spec, you got to go into the catalog and make a couple of things and add it to the spec and then you can use it in, in CAD works. Um, again, this video came from a uh, comment from a viewer. So please uh, remember to comment down below things you'd like to see, things you want me to, to try. Um, and uh, remember to like, share and subscribe and let everyone know.